Chapter 664 At this moment, he received a text from Faria, Master Anderson, I hope you don't take what happened earlier personally. With the Adair family around, the Whale family will not be too presumptuous. Alex smiled and replied, Of course, I don't mind, they are nothing but a bunch of circus clowns. Meanwhile, Fury and Edward were sitting in the VIP seats on the other side. Edward looked at Faria, then at Alex, and saw that both of them were looking at their phones. When she put it down, he picked it up, and when he put it down, she picked it up again. It was obvious that they were exchanging texts. As he watched their exchange, he was even more agitated. He had added Faria as his Facebook friend, but she had set her profile as private. In fact, she rarely responded whenever he chatted with her. However, as he watched the frequency of her chatting with Alex now, she was so acute and responsive, almost as though she was afraid to miss his message for even a second. She even had a sweet little smile on her face as she looked at her phone. Edward was very experienced in courting girls, and he could see that Faria was indeed in love with Alex now. As he glared at them, the wrath of fury started to ignite inside him again. He leaned against his father and said in a low voice, Dad, I want Alex dead. Tonight. Fury sighed at Edward's agitated expression and shook his head. Do you know what is the only thing that I'm quite disappointed with in you? Edward shook his head, puzzled. Fury sighed again and said, You are too impulsive and hasty. You can't get your priorities straight. Then, he continued, Alex is just a nobody with no background, we can kill him whenever we want. Don't ruin the relationship with the Adair family because of him. The most important thing right now is to let you win Faria's heart. Edward was still a little annoyed, but he nodded heavy-heartedly. I know. Okay, I'll wait for another two days, and then I'll get someone to kill him. Calm down and observe him first. Although Alex is a nobody, he has many supporters in the city. Not only the Lane family, the White family, and Don Stephen, but even the Adair family supports him. He can be a problem for us. What should we do? We first need to sketch out a perfect plan if we want to kill him. Then, Fury explained further, even though Stephen is just a thug, he has many men under him. If we get on his nerves, he can easily summon thousands of men in a split second, so we should beware of him. If we kill Alex, he may retaliate, and if that happens, we may not be able to escape Oris Hill alive. Stephen, Edward frowned and blurted, let's kill him first, then. Fury nodded. Yes, that's what I thought as well. First, let Stephen be caught off guard and we'll kill him when he doesn't notice. Then, we'll help Link Joey take over his place and become the new king of the underworld. A sinister tinge flashed across Fury's expression. By that time, we will have a strong foundation of power and forces in Oris Hill. It will be a piece of cake to wipe Alex and those feudal families off the grid. Edward was getting more and more excited as he listened to his father's plan and blurted, So, Dad, when do we kill Stephen? I can't stand him anymore. Relax, I have a plan laid out. My men will send Stephen across the bridge tonight.